In Crete, Illinois, we met a guy who owns a concrete company. And when it came time to design and decorate his house, well, let's just say he didn't want to use paint. I'm Vince Scrimeni, and I live in Crete, Illinois. Crete, as in concrete. Vince is a specialty concrete contractor, which has given him a solid foundation for building his own 4,000 square foot home. The interior walls are concrete, the kitchen countertops, the kitchen floors are concrete, living room and family room floors are concrete, and I'm concrete. Sometimes his family really does think Vince has cement running through his veins, because he's always coming up with quirky new concrete creations, like filling this tree trunk in the hallway with cement and glass beads. My husband, I think, is very creative. He is not afraid to try something different. This concrete staircase with little stick men made of steel is a perfect example. I like the guys holding up the stairs a lot. I like how they're all different shapes. You'll notice the handrail looks like bone or ivory, but it's not. And you won't believe how he textured these stair steps. I had some old mop heads, so we had a form built and draped the mop heads over the top of the form like this and poured the concrete into them. We call it the spaghetti stairs. Uh, kind of reminds me of a plate of linguine. He definitely knows how to serve up some unusual designs. Just check out this fantastic fireplace that stretches up to the second floor. Vince hand sculpted it from concrete after being inspired by a cave formation. People tell me it looks like drapes, like a tree, and occasionally people tell me it looks like a cave formation. <laughs> but Vince is no caveman. This Renaissance man has a grand sense of style. From the cool swirling patterns on the living room floor to the fresh flowers sprouting in his daughter's rooms to the master bedroom psychedelic shower. This is a shower stall, and this isn't paint, it's concrete. What we do is we trowel and burnish the colors in here. Some people say that you need sunglasses on when you come and take a look at it. When Vince began building his home six years ago, he knew it would be concrete, because that's his profession. But he didn't have any specific designs in mind. It all started, I guess, with this wall, which, uh, we call the rice paddy wall. The idea came from looking at aerial shots in National Geographic of rice paddies in Thailand. From a textural point of view, I really like that type of look. Vince is all about textures, so he creates every kind imaginable with cement and occasionally throws in a little steel or glass to mix it up, like this massive mosaic window above the foyer. I knew I wanted to do something in glass block, but I couldn't make up my mind of what texture, what size, so I picked them all. People are usually amazed when they come over here. They think that they're going to see a concrete house that's just gray and dull and cold, and they end up seeing textures with color and patterns, and they even get to see some artwork. Whether he's inside or out, Vince is paving his own way. You'd never know this limestone is really cement. And the same goes for these marble-like doors. Yep, he's crazy about concrete. And if you look closely, some of his walls seem to take on personalities of their own. I tell people the walls have eyes around here because some of the mosaics that we've done, we created a pair of eyes and a mouth and a pair of eyes and a nose. He's constantly creating something concrete. <laughs> the front door's got concrete on it. The columns are concrete. Fireplace is concrete. The sink tops are concrete. Even my couch is concrete from top to bottom, except the cushions. We had to draw a line somewhere. I get it all?